Hello everyone. Let us deal with this problem right away. We have x plus 2 to the power of 2 equal to 3 to the power of 2. Now, if you are going to deal with this and you equate the, the basis because the powers are the same, you will not be completely correct. So what we are going to do is apply um we're going to apply difference of two squares so that x plus 2 to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 0 and now if i apply difference of two squares what do i have i'll be having that x plus 2 then plus 3 right into x plus 2 minus 3 is equal to zero now what have i done <clears throat> what have i done our you know the first term there is s plus two which is this then plus three then for the second bracket or in the second bracket x plus two then this um in this case we're going to have negative because this is positive so everything or both of them will be equal to zero now the next thing we're going to do is this add this and this and then subtract this two so we have x plus five in the first bracket and then we have x minus one in the second bracket and both of them are equal to zero so this means that x plus five equals zero or x minus one equals zero x is equal to zero minus five or x is equal to 0 plus 1 okay so this is what we have now to continue with this we have x to be equal to minus 5 or x here to be equal to 1 therefore we have x to be minus 5 or 1 so these are the values of x or the possible values of um, x now let's put this two into the equation and check. We have x plus 2 to the power of 2 being equal to 3 to the power of 2. And remember that 3 to the power of 2 is 9, right? So that means we're having 9 on the right. Then from here, we're going to have, if you pick minus one, um, 5, we have minus 5 plus 2 to the power of 2. Will this be equal to 5? I mean 9 let's keep going now this minus this will give us minus 3 and this is to the power of 2 and this is definitely equal to 9 because this is giving us minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 and this will give us plus 9 so our value of x which is minus 5 is correct right now let's put in 1 if we put in 1 as x just as we had over there, we are going to have 1 plus 2 to the power of 2. And definitely, this is giving us 3 to the power of 2, which is 9. So this means that both of them are satisfying the equation. But if I hadn't done that, look at this. If I had done this, x plus 2 to the power of 2 equal to 3 squared. And I say because the bases are the same, I will equate the powers. I'll be having x plus 2 equal to 3. And this means that um, x is equal to 2 minus, uh, okay, 3 minus 2. So our x would have been 1. And this would have been the only, only value of x. But using the difference of two squares, give two values of x which are x to be equal to minus 5 or 2 so this is what you are expected to do if you are to solve it completely thank you for watching